Have you ever wondered why sex education is crucial in today's society? In a world that's constantly evolving, the importance of sex education cannot be overstated. It serves as a bridge, connecting individuals to the knowledge they need to navigate their personal relationships and their own bodies with confidence and care. But what does it truly mean to be sex educated? Well, it's more than just understanding the basic mechanics of sexual intercourse. It's about fostering a comprehensive understanding of the subject, one that promotes safe, healthy and consensual relationships. It's about understanding the intricacies of reproductive health, the complexity of consent and the importance of mutual respect. It's about debunking myths, challenging stigmas and replacing ignorance with informed understanding. In this digital age, misinformation is just a click away. A simple online search can reveal a plethora of misconceptions about sex, leading to confusion, fear and potentially dangerous actions. From myths about contraception to misconceptions about sexually transmitted infections, the internet is rife with inaccurate information. This is where the crucial role of sex education comes in. It provides a reliable, accurate source of information, ensuring that individuals are properly equipped with the knowledge they need. It helps dispel the myths and misconceptions that are often propagated online, replacing them with facts and evidence-based information. Moreover, sex education plays a key role in promoting healthy attitudes towards sex. It encourages open and honest discussions, breaking down the barriers of embarrassment and shame that often surround this subject. By doing so, it fosters a culture of understanding and respect, one that values consent and prioritizes safety. Ultimately, sex education is about empowerment. It's about providing individuals with the tools they need to make informed decisions about their bodies, their relationships and their lives. It's about promoting a culture of respect, understanding and safety. Without proper sex education, individuals are left to navigate a complex world with little to no guidance. So let's continue to champion the importance of sex education for it is a cornerstone of a healthier, more informed society. Understanding the basics of sex education is the first step towards informed decision-making. Let's start with the biological aspects of human sexuality. It all begins with our reproductive anatomy. Males have testes that produce sperm, while females have ovaries that release eggs. These eggs and sperm are the building blocks of human life. They meet during sexual intercourse, leading to fertilization and the potential development of a fetus. Then comes puberty, a time of significant physical change for both boys and girls. For boys, puberty typically starts between the ages of 12 and 15. They experience growth spurts, voice changes and hair growth. They also begin producing sperm. For girls, puberty often begins a bit earlier, between the ages of 10 and 14. They develop breasts, their hips widen, and they start their menstrual cycles. Oh yes, the menstrual cycle, a crucial part of female reproductive health. It's a monthly process where the uterus prepares for potential pregnancy. If the egg released during ovulation isn't fertilized, the uterine lining sheds, resulting in menstruation. It's a natural, healthy process and a key indicator of a woman's reproductive health. Now, moving on to the interpersonal aspects of sexuality. Consent and communication are paramount in any sexual relationship. Consent means an enthusiastic, informed and ongoing yes to any sexual activity. It should never be assumed or coerced. It's all about respecting boundaries and understanding that no means no, not convince me. Communication is another critical aspect. It's about expressing desires, setting boundaries and discussing sexual health. It's having open and honest conversations about contraception, sexually transmitted infections and testing. It's about creating a safe and comfortable environment for both parties. Sex education isn't just about the mechanics of reproduction. It's about fostering respectful, healthy relationships. It's about understanding our bodies and making informed decisions. It's about breaking down stigmas and promoting open, honest dialogue. A firm grasp of the basics lays the groundwork for more complex discussions about sexuality. Sex education is more than just the birds and the bees. It's about understanding and respecting oneself and others. Let's delve deeper into the realm of sex education, moving past just the biological aspects 
We're going beyond the birds and the bees into the more complex and nuanced dimensions of human sexuality. One such dimension is emotional intimacy. Intimacy is not just about physical closeness, but about emotional connection. It's the feeling of being understood, valued and loved for who you are. It's the bond that deepens over time, built on trust, communication and shared experiences. It's a vital part of any healthy relationship and it's something that's often overlooked in traditional sex education. This brings us to our next point, relationships. Sex education should also encompass the understanding of relationships beyond just the physical aspect. It's about learning to navigate the dynamics of a relationship, understanding the importance of consent, communication and mutual respect. It's about learning to manage conflict, to support your partner and to grow together. And then there's sexual orientation. Sex education must also cover the spectrum of human sexual orientation from heterosexuality to homosexuality, bisexuality and asexuality. It's about understanding that love and attraction are not limited to just one form. It's about respecting the individual differences and acknowledging that everyone has the right to express their sexuality in a way that is true to them. This brings us to the importance of respect for diversity. Sex education is not just about understanding our own sexual preferences and identities, but also about respecting the preferences and identities of others. It's about fostering a culture of empathy, acceptance and inclusivity. In conclusion, sex education is a broad and multifaceted subject. It's about more than just the physical act. It's about emotional intimacy, relationships, sexual orientation and respect for diversity. It's about understanding and appreciating the complexity and diversity of human sexuality. Understanding and appreciating the diversity of human sexuality is a vital part of sex education. Knowing how to protect oneself is an essential part of sex education. We can't stress enough how crucial it is to understand and implement safe sex practices. It's about more than just preventing unwanted pregnancies. It's about safeguarding your health and the health of your partner from sexually transmitted infections or STIs. Let's start with the basics. Contraceptives. Condoms are one of the most common and easily accessible forms of contraceptives. They come in different shapes, sizes and even flavours to suit everyone's preferences. Not only do they prevent pregnancies, but they also protect against STIs. Other contraceptives like birth control pills or intrauterine devices are designed to prevent pregnancies, but do not protect against STIs. It's essential to understand this distinction. Next, regular health checkups and screenings play a significant role in maintaining sexual health. Regular checkups can help detect any potential health issues early on, making them much easier to address. Screenings for STIs are vital because many STIs do not show symptoms initially, but they can still cause long-term health problems if left untreated. Now, let's talk about prevention and treatment of STIs. The best way to prevent STIs is by practicing safe sex. This includes using condoms consistently and correctly, limiting the number of sexual partners and getting vaccinated against certain STIs like human papillomavirus and hepatitis B. If you think you have an STI, it's crucial to get tested as soon as possible. Many STIs are treatable and early treatment can prevent severe health problems. Remember, communication is key in all aspects of sex education, including safe practices and preventive measures. Talk to your partner, be open about your sexual health and make informed decisions together. It's okay to ask questions, seek advice and educate yourself. Sex education isn't just for teenagers, it's a lifelong learning process. By practicing safe sex and taking preventive measures, individuals can protect their health and well-being. It's not just about being responsible, it's about respecting yourself and others. Knowing is half the battle, the other half is taking action. Armed with accurate information, individuals can make informed decisions about their sexual health. This statement is more than just a sentence. It's an empowering reality that we all should embrace. Let's delve deeper into it. Informed decision-making is like a compass, guiding us through the labyrinth of life. It's crucial in every aspect of our lives, and sexual health is no exception. When we're informed, we're empowered. We have the keys to unlock the doors of our well-being, to steer clear of risks and to foster healthy, meaningful relationships. 
Let's imagine for a moment, what if we had no knowledge about the nutritional values of the food we eat? We'd probably be stuffing ourselves with junk food, oblivious to the harm we're inflicting on our bodies. Similarly, without comprehensive and accurate sexual health information, we're like a ship in a stormy sea without a compass. Being informed about sexual health is not just about knowing the mechanics of sex or how to prevent sexually transmitted infections. It's about understanding our bodies, recognizing our emotional needs, acknowledging our rights and respecting others. It's about communication, about having open, honest discussions about sexual health with our partners and healthcare professionals without fear or embarrassment. By embracing informed decision-making, we can navigate through the complexities of our sexual lives with confidence. We can respect our boundaries and those of others. We can make choices that align with our values and priorities, that contribute to our well-being and that nurture our relationships. This, however, is not a solo journey, it's a collective effort. We need to foster a culture that acknowledges the importance of sexual health education, that encourages open discussions and that respects individual choices. We need to equip ourselves and those around us with the right information, the right tools and the right mindset. So let's champion informed decision making. Let's empower ourselves and others to make choices that reflect our understanding, our respect and our commitment to personal and societal well-being because informed decision-making is the key to maintaining a healthy and fulfilling sexual life.